Hello folks, I'm the Ghost with Knife, and welcome back to more Mega Man X4 with Zero! Last time, we did a big cyberspace race, and we found a little guy! Cute little guy, he's cool! Now we take on the last of the two Mavericks. The Air Force Maverick, and the Military Train Maverick. We already have all of our sub-tanks, so we only need to get the last two heart tanks. And I believe I remember how to get both of those. Let's do the Air Force first. He left with the Space Fortress to conquer the air. So that's right, this is Replica Force is one of their commanding officers in Storm Atlas. The Air Force guy, look at that, there's little ships flying around everywhere. They've had enough of humanity's crap as I completely walk into an attack at any two. And as you can see now, we have a, new, a special new bar with us. It's got a four. Uh, I'm not going to use it until we absolutely need it because we only get four shots and it is absolutely mandatory for this boss. <gasps> and it's the ride armor, but it's got a little like jet engine it's got little wings and stuff it can fly now as you guys can see and it has a big charge attack it's super cool yeah this is probably one of my, the most memorable ride armors in my opinion I can't remember what's up here is anything worth it is this worth it I can't remember no it was not is ride armor gonna be down there it will okay cool and so will the big guy! Sometimes it's better to just spam that attack. Ow. I'm gonna lose this right armor because I'm being bad at the game. Please kill these guys faster. And there's the heart tank that we needed. And we're losing our right armor here because I'm bad at the game. Don't mind me. Yeah, it's about to blow up. There ain't nothing I can do about it. So, so yeah, we have the right armor. It's pretty cool. It's not as good as the uh, the other right armor. The right armor, right armor is much better in my opinion, just because you have to slow yourself down to shoot with that, and it's very problematic. But yeah, it's fun having the right armors come back. There's two of them now, instead of uh, the one that we had before. I'm just gonna get behind this guy, and then get completely wrecked. Don't mind me. We gotta run past here, past the big laser beams. And now they're trying to destroy us with UFOs, which I guess is something that the military of the Air Force does. Why not? And we're out of there. Cool. And that is the first section of the Air Force. Pretty easy section, especially with the right armor. But it is a nice, cool little section. Hey, remember those things that we're flying about? This is them. This is them right up here. Now, why does the Replica Force have so many things that look like hammerhead sharks flying around in the sky? Not quite sure, but it is a really cool design. Something very memorable from this game! It's a laser beam! It's Gazer Beam from The Incredibles! And as you can see, they like to shoot laser beams, and it sucks. And as you're gonna see, there's some spikes up here that we can't really interact with, but I will say. We're not talking about it. We're not talking about it, okay? We're just not talking about it, alright? We're not talking about it, okay? We're gonna... We're gonna have a come to chase us, and we're not gonna talk about it, okay? But yeah, remember that part for later. And don't do what I just did and almost kill yourself on the spikes a second time and look really bad. And now it's time for a mini-boss! Pretty easy mini boss, as you guys can see. You just summon more taser beams. And the fire attack just completely obliterates him. Yeah, by the time you're at this stage, this boss should be a joke. But yeah, that's the main control for the uh, for the airships. So this was a very important victory for uh, the Maverick Hunters. Woo! Yeah, that boss is uh, pretty easy. It's nothing like the Frost Walrus boss, which I still find very problematic. But now, it's time for the Big Owl himself. What's up? You're not as big as I thought you'd be. Why did you judge us as mavericks? Wait, stop the coup! No, we are justified in doing this. Now it's time for Storm Owl, who is a very cool maverick. He's flying about trying to attack me from the friggin' sky! 
What's this little guy doing? Whoa, he's throwing crap at us! Oh, could you not say we did? As he shoots little, like, crazy, like, firework projectiles at us, and then tries to grab us? But yeah, when he, uh, dives at you like that, he actually does a grab attack. It's very cool. I'm actually gonna get hit by it, just to show you guys what this boss does, because this boss is really cool. Oh, no! He's doing his big thing, one of his big things. As you can see, he does these, and they, uh, lock onto you. It's pretty rough. And then sometimes he just does that, but yeah, if you hit him, he procs that. The best thing you can do for this is to try to get up here. And then that, and then just try to get out of the way. Best thing you can do against that is to, uh, space yourself. Then we're gonna let him grab us. BAM! And that's a lot of damage he does. But I was just thinking, what's this guy's weakness? It is not over yet. It's this. But yeah, the Giga Attack just rips through this boss. It's it's kind of a joke. As I completely botch the fight even more. No, oh, we got him! Oh, and he destroys his attack too. I forgot about that. And now he's dead. But his other thing is he does three tornadoes in the middle, and I just don't have enough health to really showcase it all. But yeah, Storm Owl is a really fun boss. He's uh he's a bit more of a challenge than most, especially if you don't have his weakness. I honestly have a really big trouble trying to beat this boss without his weakness. But yeah, that's Storm Owl. He's a very, very cool boss. We had enough Giga Energy for two more attacks, but I wasted one like an idiot. But yeah. Now we got Tenkuha, which I don't remember what it actually is. Enhanced disease. Oh, that's right. He uh, gives your, your Z Saber just a flat out damage boost. So yeah, we don't really have that many techniques, but we do have a lot of different upgrades as we fight Mavericks. And that's Storm Owl stage! And after that, we'll be All back! Right, folks, we have beaten seven other Mavericks. It is time to engage one of my all-time favorites in the entirety of the X-Series. Let us go to our last Maverick on the military train. He defends the military train to protect the supply of goods. Ready. And let's just take a second to appreciate this music. I love the military train music so much, and as you can see, now our saber is purple, showing us that it is actually even more powerful than before. And this military train is actually giving uh, Ripple Force the resources it needs to continue the coup, and that is why we're dealing with this. And I don't know why I took damage there, but I did. Never mind, I didn't lose any health as you guys can see, because I'm great at this game. What's up, man? Hey, hey, what are you doing? That's not cool, he's blowing up the train! They're getting rid of their resources. They're trying to kill us. That wasn't very cool of you. But yeah, now now with the uh, the Q and Boo and this damage boost, this this game is gonna go by in a breeze. What's up, little guy? How you doing? Wait a minute. Hold on. That's not cool. But as you can see now, those dudes from the uh, the first level are back. These are like Rebel Forces, like main soldiers, kind of. It's weird. It's never really explained what they are, but I like them. They got guns and grenades! And I forgot that dude was there. I really don't know why that hit me. I feel like that shouldn't have, still. Hey, we're just running across this train. This level is iconic, in my opinion. It's so friggin' good. You're going your way through the supply crates, being carpet bombed by Reploids. Get him with the friggin' icicle! Yeah, I don't get to, I don't get to use that that much. I completely botched that, don't mind me. I'm trying to remember what all these enemies were weak to the most, just because it's been so long since I fought in this. But yeah, here we go. Now it's the last little guy. I remember one of those guys falls off. What's this? Uh oh. The train is trying to kill us. And as you can see, there's a little cannon on top. There's three spikes. And normally, 
You don't have all your upgrades for this boss, and it's very, very hard. When I first played this game, my first boss was Jet Stingray, and this was my second, because I found out this was, uh, this boss was weak to Jet Stingray's attack. And this sub-boss gave me so many problems. But yeah, once you have the air dash, this becomes infinitely easier. But yeah, that's the, uh, the part of the death train. It's a really cool mini-boss. Once you have all the upgrades, it's really not that hard. Especially with Zero, just because he can rip through the wall with his saber. And especially because we have an upgraded saber, so yeah. Not the best showcase for that boss, but we'll try to fight him earlier with X. One of the problems with Slash Beast is that he actually technically doesn't have a weakness for Zero. Because, like I said, normally his weakness is, uh... Is a uh, jet stingray, but uh, remember we got an air dash from jet stingray. And uh, fun fact, um, actually the Q and Boo split mushrooms thing is actually uh, Satan Peacock's weakness for uh, when you're playing as X. But we don't have that right now. Don't mind me just being really bad at the game. It's a, uh, it's an art form. And now I'm gonna try to pick my health back up. Excuse me. Shit, is that... I don't remember if we can actually destroy this. If I lose the right armor, I'm in trouble, so... I think I just gotta keep going, I don't remember. I'm gonna keep just trying to make progress here. I really can't afford to lose the right armor before I get the, uh, the heart tank. I can't remember if there's anything back there normally. But I know that ahead is uh, how we get the heart tank in this level. And I think it's literally in here. So you use the right armor to break this. There it is. Yeah, you have to have the right armor to break this, uh, this, this, uh, these red trains. I can't remember if there's something like secret in the back behind there. I remember the, I remember mildly there being a secret. But yeah, um, this is not going to be like Magma Dragoon where you, if you're fast enough and you're good enough, you can actually take the. Uh, the right armor to the boss, there is actually something that prevents you from getting in there with the right armor for this boss. And it's pretty nice as I completely botched this entire section. As I try to get my health back. Oh, it failed miserably. Could you not say we did? Yeah, you can actually use the right armor to break this part of the train too, but once you get to this part, you can't actually jump over this with the right armor, so you gotta ditch it. But it's fine, because we're getting to the end of the line? Apparently this is our stop! I'm just not really showcasing my skills in this game right now. I'm kind of like depressed with myself, don't mind me. There we go, big help. I want to try to get my health back before this boss. I don't need it. It's just... What happened? Did I just accidentally dash into that hole while trying to sit still? Well, there's the checkpoint anyways. It doesn't matter. We got our heart tank. We're going to look past that, okay? I probably could have used my Giga attack. Like that and just dealt with him earlier. Uh, my, my little brother's plan... Um, my, uh, there's a dog in the room. I, uh, I plugged in my Xbox controller on accident. What other excuses can I give that aren't valid? God damn it, I want that boss. Anyways, let's pick up on our train ride here. Yeah, apparently that was, uh, just a casual stop at the station. As we continue to use the icicle to great effect. I think I'm like one of the only people that uses the DAMN BICYCLE! As now I continue to rip through this level now. Yeah, who says I'm bad at this game? Alright, who's next? Uh, warning. There wasn't a boss store. What's going on here? Can I- EXCUSE ME?! Did you just run and catch up with this train?! Going full speed ahead? You dare to attack my unit? I'm gonna enjoy ripping you apart. 
This is Slash Beast. He's one of the coolest Mavericks in design as he jumps as you guys see and he does the cool crazy attack here but yeah technically he has zero has no attack to beat him but yeah if you dash under him while he attacks he does that uh that uh that dive attack now yeah, the best thing you can do is try to uh i actually find him quite a challenge with zero as you guys can see as I, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm only at half health. I didn't take too much of an issue with him. But yeah, he has this, uh, crazy dash attack. And then he has a bite that I completely forgot about. That's, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, that's, that slash beast. That attack is so cool. It's one of my favorites. It's so sick. God, I love that attack. And one of the best ways you can fight him is to, uh, with X is to, uh, just mess his day up. You know what, buddy? I've had enough of your nonsense. Gup! Can I help you? Is that a parry? That might be a parry. I don't know. I never knew what that attack does other than set up his, uh, his slashes. I don't, that might be a parry. That's cool. For cool. But yeah, we got him with the icicle. But yeah, that's Slash Beast for you. <laughs> I'm very out of practice, as you can see, and he's got a really cool move set. It's one of my favorites in the entire game. And that is, between him and Jet Stingray, I don't know which one's more of my favorite. Probably Slash Beast. I just love his melee kind of style, the ability that he just basically grabs you and slams you into a wall. He's awesome. And now he gives us Shibuka, which isn't like one of the best abilities in the game for Zero. It, it, it's it's fine. It, it's it's not great. The boss is fantastic. His weapon for both zero and X it isn't really fantastic. But now we have done it. All heart tanks, all sub tanks, all weapons. Oh, a music change. Ba, ba, ba. Rip your force. <clears throat> Hang on. Rebel Force is at the Space Harbor. I have to go. No, please wait, Zero. I don't want to see you two fight. Someone has to stop your brother. I'm leaving. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We'll be right back. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This one's gonna be a triple level doer today because I'm feeling spicy. And we are going to go to the spaceport to meet Ready. Colonel in a final confrontation. Whoa! Okay. Well, buddy, 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 what are you guys doing? You lunatics, you psychopaths, you madmen. Hey, calm down over there. Now, there's these gun dudes are running all about. They're trying to defend the spaceport because, um, yeah. So I know what you're thinking. Why are we going to a spaceport? Uh, good question. I'm going to explain this to you very carefully. Have you seen that one Tim Curry meme where he's like, I'm gonna go to the one place where capitalism can't affect me, space? That That's Reploforce's idea. Their, their, their plan is to build a space colony for Reploids to get away from humans on Earth. That That is not a joke, that is actually canonically what Reploforce is trying to do. They're trying to ditch Earth and just be like, screw this, we're going to space. It is hilarious, and I love it, and I keep botching and looking really bad at this game because I probably am a lot better than I thought I was. I'm really out of practice is the issue. <sighs> it's, it's whatever, I still, I love this game. That's how you get up there normally without having any stupid issues. You know, being stupid like me. I don't know where that other top one went, but uh, it's gone now. And this is the spaceport. And, oh, whoa, that was that 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 was the spaceport. There's a boss store. Is it time for the rematch? I don't want to fight. 
Step back! I'm sorry. I can't let you through. Iris will be sad if she loses you. Don't be so presumptuous, Zero. Save it until after you've defeated me. I've been waiting to fight with you. And now it's time for the Zero, for the Colonel fight. As he starts shooting us with a- OH MY GOSH HE'S TELEPORTING! Looks like Cyber Peacock was trained well. Yeah, technically this boss's weakness is the icicle. But uh... You can kind of beat him with whatever you want. Yeah, this is his main attack pattern is that he does that. He does a lot of damage, I forgot. What's this? Whoa! What was that? That's right, he does this crazy energy attack. Colonel is one of the coolest Reploids in universe, and yes, there is a way to just wall cheese him. It's kind of depressing, but the best way to memorize Colonel's pattern is to look at the green dots on the round, because that's where the uh, the energy attacks come from. I'm trying to get him to do one more thing. There's one more thing that he does, but yeah, the best thing to do is when he does this, you jump and then you stay in the middle of these green dots. It's a great little visual cue of where you're supposed to go. Come on, Colonel, do your big thing. This is typically his like big attack during this phase, so other than teleporting. Oh my gosh, I just almost got comboed. Maybe I need to stay on the ground for him to do it. There it is! The ground hunter! That's his big attack. We're getting close. And boom! Impressive. Zero. But it's too late. What? Repli Force. There's left for the space. For the space? <clears throat> Even if I perish, Repli Force lives. Colonel. Zero. Tell Iris. Let her brother die happily. Goodbye, Zero. Colonel! And that's it for one of the most iconic Reploids in the series. You can very easily wall cheese him. It's kind of depressing, but he still has one of the coolest movesets. That energy attack that he does, it just stays with me. Has stayed with me since my childhood. It makes this boss so... Memorable? Um, am I having stroke? I'm just gonna check my. Hey! Where's Iris? They've left for outer space! Scramble all magic hunters! Iris? Where are you? Iris! She left with them. No! Maverick hunters, scramble! I'm on my way. Don't do this to me, Iris. Ladies and gentlemen, next time we begin the grand finale of Mega Man X4. What lies in store on the final?